Hey fam, how are you doing? I am here with all of my gear for the AT and I thought I would go over uh, it with you because I'm just trying to like finalize it and put it in my pack. Um, so you might like to see what I'm bringing. <laughs> this is my backpack. It's a Hyperlite pack and it is the best backpack I have ever owned. I love it so much. Um, and then obviously we have little Effie Todd right here. She just looks as cute as can be. Um, and then in my mesh, I have my Frog Tog rain jacket. Light, cheap, perfect for what I need. Wet wipes. My ever new bag to put water in. I need to get a new one of these because it's like so dirty from the other trails that I've hiked, but uh, we're just making everything work. I got a new Sawyer Squeeze water filter. This is what I use, it's the best for what I need. And it's set up on a gravity system. So you just put the dirty water in here, then you put this on. And then this is, I use smart water bottles or life water bottles because they're super light and like pretty durable. And then you just, you need this coupler and then you screw on here. And then you just hang this from like a tree or a fence or whatever. And then the water will filter through and you get clean water. And so on your breaks, you can actually rest and eat your snacks and relax instead of using the bags that Sawyer gives you. Cause you have to like sit there and you have to like squeeze the water through and that's just not very relaxing. <sighs> so yep, water filter. I keep that in the front pouch so it's like easy to access all the time. Put that back. Put this back. At trail day, at tra trail days, if they're selling a new one of these, I need to get a new ever new bag and then I have my cook set up it's the sticker that I have it's my Instagram magic blackbird so this koozie um, crafty made it's out of just like a car visor and then I have a little tokes pot little cup then inside I have a BRS or a BSR, I forget the name, stove. It's so light and small. Look at this. It's so cute. Super light, really packable, lighter. Lisa Frank sticker on everything. And then inside of the pot is the gas. And then you just um, screw on this. And then I used to keep my weed in here and it, it smells like weed. <laughs> and then you just uh, cook your dinner. And then I always keep a bandana with my cook set up because you always make a mess. <laughs> There's always a mess to be cleaned up. So this just slides right back in. And then you just fold this up. Wow, this smells like crazy weed, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm actually gonna wash this, so I'm gonna set that aside. And then 
put this back in here. And then I use a Ziploc bag to cook my food. So I put like my ramen noodles or whatever food I want in the Ziploc bag. And then I put the bag in the koozie and then I put it in here to rehydrate. And then, I'm sorry, this just smells like crazy weed. <laughs> like really distracting and then you eat out of your ziploc bag and then when you're done you just throw away the bag and there's no cleanup definitely not the most environmentally friendly way to do it um so i will be on a lookout to update that system but for now that's what i do so that's my cook setup this is my sleeping pad. I've got a C to Summit. I had an Uber Light before by Therma Rest, which I really liked, but it kept popping. So I went back to, this is what I used on the PCT, the AT, and the AZT. I don't know, I use this a lot. It's not super heavy and it's not super light, so it works. I would, I would recommend it. And then I'm getting a patio put in, so that's what I'm looking at. There's people out there working on my patio. Then I have my snozzle bag. And inside my socks, this is, this is um, waterproof. So I have my pillow, my camp pillow. This is a Nemo. I'll open it so you can see it. It's an inflatable pillow. And then the snozzle bag is really cool because uh, there's a valve so you can blow up your, sl your sleeping pad really fast without like <sighs> blowing in it like a million times. And then my sleeping bag Shout out enlightened, enlightened Equipment. This is what I use. I think it's a 10 degree bag, but uh, I love it. It's super light, really comfy. It's great. And then I just stuff that in, the, in this and then I stuff it in the bottom of my backpack so it can like fill in the bottom of the backpack as much as it can. And then I, I use a sleeping bag liner because I don't like the way this feels just like against my skin when I sleep. And the sleeping bag liner also keeps your bag cleaner because you can wash this and it's hard to wash your sleeping bag all the time. But uh, if I was to update anything in my, in my backpack, it would be this. I would get just like a really thin light silk liner because this is kind of bulky and heavy i mean it's not really heavy but like when you compare it to everything else like this could be updated so yeah and i just keep that in this nozzle bag with my sleeping bag then i have my ditty bag this is another Hyperlite bag I got for free when uh, I signed up for the shuttle for the CDT. This is like my favorite stuff sack. I'm not sponsored by Hyperlite. I just really like their stuff. <laughs> so what do I keep in my ditty bag? Earplugs. Always hike with earplugs. There's a lot of snores out there. So that's good to have ibuprofen, vitamin I, neosporin. This is my sewing kit, That's some thread. Uh, inside of this, I've got like four needles. I love to sew. So everyone who has like a hole in their stuff are like, Blackbird, can you sew this up for me? I'm like, oh sure girl, I got you. Or brother, sister, whoever. Um, brush brush my hair you would you would be shocked you wouldn't be shocked my hair just gets really knotted out there so it's good to have this brush 
band-aids i need to get some kt tape um if you have or get blisters or hot spots put a little bit of kt tape over it and it's the best thing i've ever used then in here i have the tenacious tape an extra o-ring um a patch for my sleeping pad in case it pops duct tape toothpaste i need to get a toothbrush a breva just in case if you get a cold sore out on trail there's nothing worse so i just always have a breva with me and then this is cbd uh cream because i get sore knees or i don't know there's just a million things like the cbd cream really helps a lot and you can see this little tube is for uh, film for cameras. It's super light, so I just put it in there and yeah. So that's my ditty bag. I need, oh, I've got athlete's foot cream. When I was on the AT last time, I got trench foot, like no lie, like straight up trench foot. So I, I'm like, never be too sure. It rained 50% of the time uh, when I hiked in 2018. So this year I'm manifesting clear skies, warm weather, vacation weather. So I need to get sunscreen, uh, another lighter. Um, yeah, toothbrush. Hand sanitizer, I need to get hand sanitizer. So that's my ditty bag. Oh, I didn't show you my trowel. This is the Deuce of Spades number two. Super light, best trowel I've ever had. I need to get a tiny carabiner for it. So it doesn't fall out. Then I've got my electronics this is my head torch it's a night core super light uh, crafty helped me put this string on it's rechargeable amazing head torch then I have my Nightcore battery pack, super light, really small. I think it has like five charges in it. Yeah. This is the best battery pack I've ever owned. Really light. Mm. Then I've got chargers. This is for my cell phone. This is a USB-C that charges my battery pack. And then I've got, I bought these like cheap, earbuds and so I need a charger look how small that cord is so this this charges this and this so that's my electronics bag and I'm deciding if I'm gonna bring my DG Osmo mini this is my camera oh, it's so cool I don't know if it's charged. No, it's not. Oh, yeah, look at that. And so it's on a gimbal. So it like keeps it super still. Oh yeah, it's so dope. And it has like face track on it. So like if I moved, it will like follow me. I don't think face track is on now, but I love this camera. Super light. And then if I bring that, I've got the wide angle lens. I made this little thing for it, the little case so it doesn't get scratched. And I've got a microphone. You are beautiful. Don't forget that. So I might bring this. It's pretty light, but it just depends. If I'm planning on like, I should just bring it. I'm just gonna bring it. Yeah. 
I always try and stay as light as possible, <laughs> but I'm like, come on, some things are just worth it. So I'll put this in here. And this is my electronics bag. Kind of heavy now that the camera's in it, but I actually keep my DG in my fanny pack. Speaking of fanny pack. Speaking of fanny pack. I don't know where it is. Whatever, I'm sure it will, I'm sure it will turn up. It's light AF. I love it. I'll find it. I just love it. Okay. So that is my electronics. Then this is my food sack. Put all my food in here. Spoon. I always like my, my utensil with like an extra long handle because like when you're mixing it, you don't want to like get your hand in it because like you're not that clean. So yeah, long, long handled spoon. I need to get the food. That's the hardest part for me is like, what do I eat? I don't know. <laughs> then the part that's the most fun for me is the clothes. So, I already showed you my shirt. This is my hiking shirt. I made it. And then these are my hiking shorts, just black running shorts. I've got my hiking, my sleep top, and then I embroidered blackbird in the back. I've actually, I got this shirt from Walmart when I was on the AT and I hiked in the eight on the AT with this shirt and on the PCT and on the AZT. I just love this shirt so much. I have two pairs of hiking underwear. These are my sleep or camp shorts. My gaiters. These go over your shoes. So like rocks and sand don't get in your shoes. Then I have my beanie cap in case it gets cold. It's okay not to be okay. Just remember that. Then I have two pairs of hiking socks. These are darn tough. Best hiking socks I've ever had. Lifetime warranty, not sponsored. I just love darn tough. <laughs> I'm not sponsored at all, just so you know. <laughs> and then I have a pair of sleep socks or camp socks. These are smart wool. So I like two pairs of socks to hike in and then one pair of socks for like sleeping. And then I have some smart wool long john pants. I don't think I'm gonna bring them because it's gonna be pretty warm. And yeah, I don't think I'm gonna bring it. A buff, it's always nice to have a buff because you can like Put it over your face when you're in town you can like put it around your neck and like wipe away the sweat or, like put it around your hair like a million things this buff is good for and then oh this is my hiking bracelet i made this and so it's like emergency cordage in case like shit hits the fan you need some emergency cordage um but if it's worn weight it doesn't count so everything just just try to make everything worn weight <laughs> then I have my hiking bra and the coolest part about this is I sewed a little pocket on it and I put a crystal in there so it's like right by my heart and it's like a roto night I think and so it helps 
heal your heart. So I'm really excited about that. I wore this bra on the AT 2018 and uh, I love it. Couldn't get rid of it. <laughs> then I have my Melly. I feel like every hiker has a Melly, but I just love it. Melanzana is the full name of the brand. So, got that. Then I have my hiking sun hat. It's kind of my signature look, so. Then I have my tint. This is a Z Packs duplex. And I have the carbon fiber, carbon fiber stays to hold it up because I don't use trekking poles, so these are super light. This is super light, two person tent, best tent I've ever had. Z Packs, not sponsored yet. Um, then, oh, this is my mosquito net, like head net. Anyways, I don't hardly ever use this for like a head net, but I do put all of my clothes in this because it's super light. Um, you're carrying it anyway, so you might as well like make it work for you. And I just put all my clothes in, in here. Bada bing, bada boom. There you go. Perfect. Then what else do I have? Do I have anything up here? Hmm. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much, pretty much it for gear for me. Oh, thank goodness I found it. This is my light AF fanny pack. Light AF. And so I put my phone in this, some snacks, my camera, and it's just really nice because it's like anything you need, boom, right there. Boom. Oh, look what I packed. That's so cute of me. Step number seven. This is the one that talks about easy does it and that God is my refuge. So I'm bringing this with me. I'm so cute. Uh, yeah, wow. So that's pretty much it for me. Oh, these are my shoes. I hike with ultras and uh, this is something about me. I always hike with insoles and these corrects run pro are the best insoles I've ever used. Like you can see here that this is cushion and this is support and then this is cushion here. So it's not too firm, but it has support right where you need it. And this has saved my knees because my, my foot kind of pronates a little bit and this has just really helped me. Also, I love ultras. I, I pretty much exclusively hike in Lone Peaks, so. So that's it for me. Gonna get my food packed and help my brother and my cousin get their packs ready, but I think I'm ready to hit the trail tomorrow. <laughs> oh. So if you want me to send you energy while I'm hiking, just comment in the comments and I will hike and send you good positive energy. I love you so much, family. I'm so grateful for you and I will talk to you soon. <laughs> Tag out.